scan on guys and welcome back to another quality mod pack 2 and uh, we are now obviously the iron column origin so we're having to suffice to just eat in iron whenever we get damaged which isn't ideal but uh, we want to actually get geared up and sort of sort out a weapon and whatnot in the style for the iron column now me and cloud just went on like a three hour mining run in order to find this osmium which you can only find in mountainous areas and it's extremely rare um, but there was a sword that I saw that uses I think it's like six of these so I should just about have enough I hope um, if we go sword it is called the heap of raw iron so let's see what we get a legendary oh my god which is good because I think you can only um, roll as epic upwards so we did actually get a tier up so plus 30 percent durability plus 15 percent speed um rage use item to grant bloodthirsty effect ultra heavy gain haste post hit while having strength effect oh that sounds pretty nuts um let's just see oh my lord okay so right click uh puts us into rage mode like bloodthirsty for five seconds which makes our health tick down but we also get extra strength and resilience and it just does a lot more damage so we can heal back up using that Ooh, thank you cloud <laughs> um this sword is uh ridiculously large though <laughs> oh my god so we are going to actually have to go and enchant this bad boy um down at the spawner see if we can't get a decent roll on it we're also going to have to put uh, mending on it, obviously, because we don't want it breaking because it is such a difficult thing to go and do. Um, we want to find you mending, and one of you are unbreaking. Um, oh, looting as well, and unbreaking. So they're three that we definitely want on it, but we want to see what else we can get random rolls on it by going down to the mob spawner. And then after I've got this enchanted, there's something else um, armor-wise that I wanted to check out. It's one of the mods that I've been dying to actually get into because I've not actually tinkered around with it in any way whatsoever. So it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for both you and me. Um, so yeah, let me go enchant this. We can see what we can get on it. Unfortunately, because of how expensive it is, to um craft like we won't be able to craft more than one without having to go on another massive mining expedition um which is annoying because if we was able to enchant more than one then we could sort of combine enchants but with it being a one and done thing we're just going to have to sort of live with whatever we get and if need be if we do want anything else particular on it we can always just um get some librarians and do the trading sort of thing through them but yeah, uh, let's see, because you know, I've got like 69 levels by standing at our mob spawner up in the base anyway. I should really just build a uh, enchanting area up there for it. Um, stunning. I have no idea what that does, but let's see what we get. Uh, stunning, not back to. Chance to nearly stop a target and cause nausea. And not back to. Neither of them sound great, to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to have another go at that. Um... I'm breaking. Uh, I'm breaking free. Ice aspect to looting free. Freezing free. So very sort of frost space, which isn't terrible. Slows the target down on each hit. A chance to slow target and gives them mining fatigue. So two different effects that slow targets down, which means uh, any sort of targets that are going to be quick. Obviously, we're going to be able to have a decent combat and um, against them. So we've got looting free and I'm breaking free already. So let's try our mending. And then we can go and murder some of these guys. Wow, nice. Okay, so that's got that fully repaired. And because we got looting, we're getting all of the other random crap that usually drops from the mob farm. Um, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. But that is our sword now sorted, which is just um, ridiculously large. We're going to go and head back to base, and then once I'm back at base, I'll show you the mod that I want to get into. Alright, so back at base, I'm not too sure what Cloud's doing with his tater face. Um, but yeah, the mod that we want to get into is... Uh, it's, it's I forgot what it's actually called. It's like mech something. 
It is called Magitech Mech. So let's type that. Magitech Mech. Okay, so we've got the Magitech armor, which is like, it looks some sort of like mech suit that you can wear. But you've got Magitech armor, um, Proto armor, Tunnel armor, which are the three different variations. The Magitech one, how is that crafted? Minecarts. It's like all of them aren't expensive, which is good. Uh, that's all fine. Uh, let's just iron around that. That's fine. Let's see what the arms. They look fine. And then I'm not sure if you need the magicite thing, which is gobber rods and mana diamonds. We can actually make that. I've got a feeling that that may be what you need in order to power the suits. But we will see. What we want to make is the tunnel armor, because obviously. Um, being a miner and the main thing that we're going to be aiming for is resource uh, production and automation uh, I think the tunnel armor is probably going to be the better one but it does mean going through all of these crafting steps and making all the different components because we need two tunnel armor stacks, two tunnel armor trims, two tunnel armor wheels and then the tunnel armor chassis and all of them have their own individual crafting steps so I'm going to do all the crafting and once I'm ready to actually put it all together in this view, I will bring you back. Alright, so I think I've managed to get all of the pieces crafted and we have got the tunnel armor chassis. Um, let's have a look to see. Oh my god, it's some sort of car. I thought it was armor. Um, okay. This is not what I was expecting. So we need fuel and whatever goes in here. Oh, that is going to be the core. I knew that we were going to need that, which means we're going to need to find some diamonds. Uh, let's do that. And what else is it? The copper rods. Um, which means we're going to need to make some copper ingots. I'm going to make some copper globs. Do that. Do one of them. And then make two more rods. And then we need to get a mana diamond. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, God. He does find the weirdest things to make. Um, so we do need to go over to the little Britannia area underneath the ocean. To go and get a mana diamond by dropping a diamond in this mana pool. Um, I don't know why he's put string there. Oh, we're going to have to get more mana going. Because it takes a lot more mana in order to transform these. So, yeah, let me quickly do that and build up some mana supply. I think Cloud was using it for making mana string. In order to get that tater on his face for some reason. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, let me do that and then I'll bring you back. No worries, I um, finally got my mana diamond. Um, oh, I can get two, three, four mana diamonds. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make that carry on. diamond in there. But fine. Whatever. Um, let's grab two lots of coal. Okay, so you, I'm assuming, go there. And then fuel goes in there. Oh wow. Um, So this is a car. <laughs> is there like controls that I need to learn for this thing as well?
Yeah, I know, it looks like some kind of mining thing, but let me figure out the controls. Okay, so what I accidentally learned is that they have health bars and you can break them. Um, okay, we need to wait for that to actually feed through to the system. And then we've got to wait for it to all return. Come on. I hate it when it does that. Okay, we should have that, the tunnel armor. Uh, apparently we don't, we need one more of you. Which means we need two more of you. Uh, and then do that. Okay, uh, so let's take it down to uh, the actual mine where it's actually going to be useful to be honest with you because I didn't realize it was the actual like I should have guessed it from the name to be honest with you, but uh, I didn't realise it was actual like a tunneler, like a vehicle thing. So what we can do is say bust out an area. Um, I want to start like a new section, say here. Should be fine. Just want to clear out a little bit of room to place it. Oh, that diamonds. Which is good, considering how quickly we're blowing through them apparently. Um, okay, so if we go and put you down to there, and then we want to put coal, coal, and that. Like, it's got 20 health points, which is how I ended up accidentally killing it. I found the activate key, which is I've assigned it to H, and then literally you just drive forward and it just mines for you, which is pretty freaking cool, actually, as far as like gathering resources go. If I just hold forward. Yeah, it's just gonna keep on going. Like, I don't know how um, much fuel it goes through as you're mining. And I don't know if it applies any sort of fortune or silk touch. Ooh. Okay. So we need to be careful. I wonder if it, like, heals health as well. Um. So we are going to have to be a little bit wary of the machine. Let me go like so. Grab you. Do that. And then have we... Oh, we have not got a bucket of water on us. Which is just fantastic. That. That. It would be really cool if uh, it would lay torches behind us as we went. Because otherwise it's going to be really freaking dangerous. Um, let's see how much... Okay, so it does heal. And it's not doing too bad on fuel, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to carry on digging for a bit. And then what we will do is we'll go back and try out one of these other Magitek armor ones. Um, probably the full Magitek armor. Like, it's not overly expensive, and we've got pretty much everything up there in order to make it. I'm hoping that that one's going to be one for walking around in, but it does mean that we're going to actually have to look at different armor sets, because I don't think any of these are designed for um, actually being an armor set, more a vehicle to actually go around and do stuff in. Like, this is a really fun vehicle to be in when mining. Like, it's getting quite a lot of resources, because it's taking a 3x3, three three, and... It's relatively safe, provided um, you're not going back through a cave system. And we are mining a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know, what did I just pick up? Oh, raw rune light. Okay, yeah, I'm going to carry on mining, and uh, we can just start throwing the resources that we gather into here. Um, you can go in there, Axe, you come up here. Yeah, so I can sort of just mindlessly hold forward, and it will just do the mining for us, and then afterwards... We can sort of walk backwards and pick up all the stuff in the walls that's been missed with our fortune pick. So after I finish this mining stretch, I'll see how far I get, and then uh, I'll bring you back. All right, then, guys, let's make him jump up a little bit. Um, uh, we want to test out the owl. First of all, we want to sort out a a a a, a armor set. Is what I wanted to say. Rather than get stuck on the word, eh? It's not even a word, is it? It's a letter. Um, we wanted to build the Magitek armor. I made sure we had all the bits crafted. So then I can just go click and then click. 
we can actually pick these up so I did actually pick up the other one using this iron wrench so we've got our tunnel armor just there and we can just now check out what this one looks like oh my god it looks amazing <laughs> uh, okay so I don't really know what this match site core does um, but I'm assuming this thing needs fuel so we've got a big core and a little core so will that okay so it definitely needs fuel I don't know what this little hole is for um, do you reckon that's going to be for like an iron gear or something oh no Cloud was just slain by an orc uh, but this thing's actually got... Oh, so you can actually give it armor. Oh, so you can make this proto armor for it. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can't concoct this together. How difficult is it going to be? Um, so we need two of these legs. One, two. And then uh, we need this main central bit, which means we need two more blocks of iron. One, two, and what else did we need? A hopper minecart, which means now we need to make another minecart. I do one of them, and then we should be able to craft this. Uh, okay, we need two more of these. And is this just going to be like a different? one or is this the actual armor so magitech armor proto armor it's just another one okay so what okay that's not what we're going to be doing with that oh wow so we can actually just can we jump so you can't jump has it got any abilities Aye, it's just like a armor thing to go walking around in. Oh, would you stop picking it up? I don't want to pick it up. There we go. Um, I'm a little bit concerned as to what this is about. Like, do we? And I don't know what the magic tech armor are. like. Is this just inventory that we can then put into here? Maybe it is just like extra holding inventory for it. Can it climb walls then if it's got them arms? I have no idea. It looks like it should do though, shouldn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, you would have thought that the claws on the front do something, but I don't know if they do or not. But I do like the actual, <laughs> uh, the little tech suit. Okay, um, so what does this dude do? Um, ah, stop it. So again, fuel, this one looks like, oh, this one requires a battery. Okay. How does one make a battery? I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more research into this mod because I really don't know. Uh, let me take the coal out. Put coal into here. Yeah, it definitely requires a battery. But on the bright side, what we can do with that is actually just go... Uh, not that one, that one, pick it up. Um, I also wanted to see if the... I don't want to lose that magic cycle. Oh, I think that just uses... I don't know. I think that may just make it use less fuel. But I wanted to see if picking it up... Okay, so it makes it drop the fuel automatically because I was worried that it might drop the um, magic cycle and that is expensive. Not that I'm overly confident as to what that actually does. Uh, let me try running the armor suit with just fueling. 
Okay, so you definitely need one of them cores in order to have it powered. Yeah. Okay, so you definitely do need that inside. Which is fine. That I understand because otherwise that digger will be horribly overpowered if you didn't need it. But I'm fairly sure that this should do something. But I don't know what. Like... Can it, like, mine or climb? I'm not too sure. I'll probably have to have a look into it a little bit more. But, nevertheless, that is the free mechs, which, honestly, the models of them look really freaking cool. Whee. Uh, I don't know what he's making. It looks like he's made a little mushroom plushie. I'm fairly sure these things should heal over time because at the moment it's on 17 because he's got thorns. <laughs> Vicious body. Um, so the armor. Oh my god. The armor set that we want to make is using a material called. Quadrillion, I do believe is how it's pronounced. Um, I did smell up a bunch of it. It is the Mythic Metals mod. So it's no Jura Steel and it's used it's, um, Quadrillion and Magnesium in order to craft it. So, uh, and the armor set it makes now, there is an armor set that I do actually want. And that is this armor set here, which is the Mystery set. It looks very sort of Iron Golem. So, some blacksmiths see the design influence of iron golems in this, which means it's perfect for us. But in order to craft this stuff, we do actually need to get into a netherite. So that's something that is going to be probably a little ways down the road, just not a massive amount. So we are going to have to find a stopgap. And I thought by doing the Jura Steel stuff, the armor set of this does look pretty freaking cool. So um, game, respond, thank you. So if we go and make our helmets, um, also trying to get decent rolls on this stuff, I don't know how. So, durability wise, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uncommon, it's like plus one armor. Um, see what we get on the pants roll. Common, minus 20% speed. So I mean, some of the times you just get really screwed on the random rolls. Uh, defeat is fine. Minus 20% speed I'm not a fan with, so I think we're going to re-roll some of the pants. That's fine. It's a lot better than minus 20% speed. Um, maybe a different helmet. That one's good. That's plus 12.5% armor. Fortified. So uncommon, uncommon. Um, that's plus one armor. Durability doesn't really matter too much. We probably do want to try, say, some more boots. See if we end up getting a decent roll on these. Um, plus one max health, plus one armor toughness. Uh, so it is just the plus one max health, which is added, but minus one armor. That's just like a give and take, isn't it? But I guess one max health is like an extra half a heart compared to the minus one armor, but... Uh, we will go with them boots over them. Just because I like the increased max health. Um, we can try for bear pants. Like We've got three stacks of this stuff to work with. Oh my god, that's just worse. Um, and again. Again, it's getting even worse. Minus 0 point. Uh, tiered heavy label durable leggings. So that is... Plus 8.8% knockback resistance. Um, minus 0.1 attack speed. Uh, I think I would actually go with them. So that's not too bad. I may try for better boots. So yeah, let's um, try for boots. Like how much of this drawer still have I still got? <laughs> Cloud is having such a hard time by the looks of it. Ooh, that is actually pretty good. So we can get rid of them. Um, that's extra 12.5% armor. Um, so the only thing is probably 
the pants and the chest piece. Let's get rid of all of these ones that I don't want. Um, let's go pants, see if we can't get something better. That's just common. Uh, poor cloud. Uh, plus rare Jura still, which is plus one armor, plus one max health, but minor fifty percent durability. That is better than that, I think. Yeah, because I don't lose on attack speed, and it's mainly just perks. So what is it we're lacking? Probably just the uncommon chest piece. Otherwise, we got like um, mainly rare, like two fortified and one rare. Um, I've still got 113. I wouldn't mind trying to make like some of the tools, maybe a shovel that we're lacking. Resilient, uh, one max health. Uh, it's not terrible actually, and it goes up to 400. So yeah, I think we'll go with that one. We'll try probably two more. That one's crap and. Uh, uncommon which is uh, that was crap as well so let's make uh, we don't want a sword because we've got our two-handed sword we don't need an axe because we're still using the legendary banglam axe um, pick we don't need a pick shovel we could probably do with um, legendary apparently which is fine because this rare one is garbage and um, you know what, I haven't actually got a hoe yet. So, let's see. Um, that one is just bog standard. Let's see if it comes out. Okay, common. Uncommon. You can go. Uh, okay, we've got a bog standard one. Oh, there we go. Epic is what we want. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is spend some time enchanting all of this gear up. I'm actually going to see if we can enchant the uh, Magitech mechs to see if that's a thing that's possible. Um, if we go to the Magitech mechs and just have a look to see what they say. Um, yeah, Magitech. If we right click on them. No. Oh my. Um. <laughs> do you need help Cloud? Yes, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, just keep on seeing death messages keep on popping up in like the bottom left hand corner. Where is it? It's over at your calf. In the dungeon? What dungeon? Oh, the prison. Oh, yeah, no, that's always bad. But we can see now. Sure you got your oh you haven't even got any of your stuff up yet. I was gonna say make sure you got your grapple. <laughs> yeah no I'm just trying to heal. God, this thing takes so long for it to charge for me to be able to heal. <laughs> uh, where about, how far into it did you die?
Okay. Um, let me come back out then. from a higher place count. Come on, really matches. Careful now. We can make this guy float up. So he can come up to me. No, you've got quite a few graves. stuff. Do you want to grab your flag? I'm assuming that's what you was coming down for. But do it quickly. Okay, then use your grapple to get back up. Yeah, fix the cake. <laughs> How many deaths did you clock up in that short amount of time? Maybe one or two, yeah. Just the odd one or two. Okay, um, well, I need to go down to the uh, spawner in order to enchant all of my new shit. Guts, monsters, eyeballs, golden nuggets. Okie dokie. Oh. Alright guys, so just after helping Cloud, I am now going to heal up and head down um, to go and enchant all of my new armor set and then that will probably be all the time we got. I just want to see what we do get for the enchants on it. And I will bring you back to show you. So yeah, I guess I'll catch you back in a very short time for you. But probably going to be at least a couple of hours for me. So yes, I'll catch you back soon. Alright, so this is now... Oh wow, I didn't even know I had done that. That is creepy. It's like a creeper face when you look up. That is really creepy. I didn't realise I had actually done that. Uh, yeah, this is now the following day. It took around about three hours last night. Getting the levels and trying to get in chance of what I actually wanted on it. And I did manage to get a decent um, concoction. But for some reason, uh, regardless how many times I sort of re-rolled it, I just kept on getting magic protection. So we've got a whole ton of magic protection, but we've got no other type of protection on this armour. Other than it's normal sort of armor value. So 
Um, I don't know how well it's going to do in fights uh, until I sort of test it. But I don't know how long we're actually going to be in this armor set for. Because there are some other armor sets inside of this mod pack that I would like for the Iron Golem um, Origin. So I will sort of see how we get on with this armor set come next episode. And if we want to upgrade it to a different set, then we can sort of venture down that road and see where we end up. But nevertheless, that's definitely going to do it for today's episode because I've way, way gone over the amount of time that I would usually try to set aside per episode. This one's being recorded over the course of around about three, four days. So yeah, hopefully it's not all over the place. But nevertheless, hopefully you've enjoyed it anyway. And hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.